Um, I became homeless through a, a relationship breakdown in my family. Um, I was suffering from mental health issues and that was a big part of me becoming homeless. My anxiety was like up the roof every day, knowing that I had to ring and be talking to, be talked to like absolute dirt by whoever it was that answered the phone. I became homeless due to illness. I had to have a thyroid treatment, radiation treatment, and my flatmate didn't want to share a flat with me because I had radiation and I had to be in isolation for 21 days. So he threw me out. It was absolutely horrendous. I was treated like, I was treated worse than a dog would be treated. I was told that um, I shouldn't become homeless because I'm in Dublin and I lived in Wicklow for two, two years. I was told to go back to Wicklow that I wasn't allowed to become homeless in Dublin. And when I told him I was sleeping in a park in Dublin, he told me I can't be homeless in Dublin. I did eventually get a bed, but I had to fight for my bed, telling them that every day I had to tell them that I was sleeping in parks and on the streets in Dublin, and they eventually gave me a bed after about two weeks of fighting. I became homeless as I was in a rented accommodation that was unfit to live in, so I had to access the health and safety and due to that uh, the landlord discontinued uh, the rent agreement. I thought when I rang the free phone I was treated very bad and unfair I felt like I wasn't listened to enough. I didn't get a bed straight away I was treated very unfairly and told because I was a family of three that they had no way for us which led me to have to ring the free phone every day for two weeks before getting a bed. The free phone just depresses you, it really does. It's, it makes your, your mental health a lot worse than, than it already is if you do suffer with stuff like that.